Now, if you have a geometric series, a plus ar plus ar squared plus and so on, then the sum of the first n terms is given by this equation here. Sn, that's a subscript n, equals a multiplied by 1 minus r to the power n, all divided by 1 minus r, where a is the first term and r is the common ratio. So what I want to do is prove this to you. So we'll just put proof here and what I would suggest you do is just say let Sn, the sum of the first n terms, it would be a for the first term plus the second term which we multiply the first term by r and that gives us ar. Then we multiply the second term by r again and get ar squared and it goes on like this successively multiplying each term by r. And as we get towards the end, the last term, the nth term, will be in fact plus ar to the power n minus 1. And notice it's one less on the power than the term is. Like for instance here you've got the fourth term is ar cubed. So the fourth term, reduce the power by 1 and you get r to the power 3. So this will be the nth term. The term before it would have been plus ar to the n minus 2. So it's worthwhile putting that in as well. Okay, let's call this equation number 1. Now what I'm going to do with equation number 1 is to multiply throughout by r. So therefore we're going to get r times s to the power n is going to equal well, multiply the first term by r and you get ar, second term by r and you get ar squared, and so on. So we get ar cubed plus ar to the power 4 plus, and so on. And if I multiply this term by r, I'm going to get ar to the power m minus 1. And then if I multiply this last term by r, I'm going to get ar to the power n. Okay, let's call this equation now number 2. So what I'm going to do is do equation 1 minus equation 2. And let's see what we get. Well, first of all I'm going to have Sn minus Rsn. So therefore we have Sn minus Rsn equals and what I notice is that a lot of the terms are the same in both equation 1 and 2. So when I subtract, some of the terms get cancelled out. Like for instance, AR minus this AR would disappear. AR squared minus this AR squared would go. And it would go like this all the way down. AR to the 4 would be here, would make this term cancel out. Okay, so it would cancel those. They would subtract to give zero. And if we kept this up, this term here would cancel with the term before this one. And then we've got ar to the power n minus 1 cancelling out with ar to the power n minus 1. So what are we left with? Well, we're left with this a, and then it would be minus this ar to the power n. So what I can do now is factorize the left hand side by pulling out Sn as a common factor and then I've got 1 minus R and then on the right hand side if I pull out A as a common factor I've got A multiplied by 1 minus R to the power N. So therefore if I divide both sides now by 1 minus R I therefore have the sum of the first n terms of the geometric series, Sn, equals a times 1 minus r to the power n, all divided by 1 minus r. And that proves this result. Now, I hope you've been able to follow what I've been doing, and I would strongly suggest that you try and learn this particular method because it crops up so often in exam papers.